Hello everyone, it's Brian, and welcome back to Skyrim Survival Legendary, the game where the cat has nine lives. We are lost somewhere north of Ripton. We're level 26 and have the apparently usual six lives remaining now. And I think we might be accidentally taking the long cut to Ripton rather than the short cut. I think I kind of went the wrong-ish way, uh, but I'm not going to let that stop me from A, gathering some herbal essences, and B, having some interesting side quests if we are ah, a bear ah, a bear no not a bear <laughs> that wasn't the kind of side quest i was looking for right now even though my plan is to do the timba wide arm festival of bears i wasn't planning on doing it right now Mono on mono with no help and no whatever. I'm going to get a quick look at the sign. Now, that sign says Iverstead this way, which is kind of awkward, given that Iverstead's where we think we came from. Looks like we, we lost the bear. That's good. Um, and we can get all these little goodies. I saw some... I especially want little blue flowers, because little blue flowers make both healing potions and they make damage magic magic region potions which are another way of saying money potions those are one of the best money potions so i want to stock back up on those when i see them i realize i just went past one but i maybe I, I can get off the horse for every single one i every single one i find it's on a hillside castle yeah, my motto is Riften or SideQuest. Riften or SideQuest. <laughs> either one, either one could be good. Now, maybe not yet. Uh, there's Iverstead, but also Riften, all right? Riften and Iverstead. So, oh, if we could get down that hill, that's the volcanic region where interesting, interesting, re that's Jazz Bay grapes and creek clusters and dragon whatever they're called ears toes dragon horns tips i can't remember what they're called but they're that yellow flower um and, and we'll want some of those but it, that's a pretty steep little cliff and i think we're gonna stay on target go toward riften go toward riften Looks like a rift hold symbol, maybe, or some other hold symbol. Those little hold symbol banners are not super helping me out here. I hear combat music. I see wolves. There was howling of wolves. And now there's so now there's wolves. Now we're heading back to the south. Hopefully, not going to end up all the way back to Iverstead because that would be that would be awkwardly awkward. I see it's an interesting quest, I'm gonna stop and do it. I'm not just gonna stop at every random every random object though. Here we have Snap Leg Cave, which you know, sounds sort of interesting, although the the snap and the leg part sound well you know it that, that hints at getting stuck down a hole you can't get back up from and being forced to finish the thing no matter what. I'm not sure I'm I'm kitted out for that right now. <laughs> Kitty's not kitted out for that. So here we have a man doing his leg squats. Let's see what he's all about. Deep knee bend man. Telrav. He's got some random sacks with him. Barrel. Are they gone? Bandits attacked and ransacked my cart. My camp is nearby in the ruins of Nilheim. Get me there safely, and you'll be rewarded. Alright, a little escort quest, perhaps. Let us uh, get that quest meter. To oh, okay, so it's not very far away. I was worried this was going to be halfway across the map, but this is 
He wants to be escorted about 20 feet, apparently. So, if we can get the horse turned around. Where'd he go? Horse, the getting on the horse is so disorienting. There he is. All right. Here, you walk, I horse. How about that? It's Which just across the bridge and up that hill. Cleverly means I can also stage a quick getaway if necessary. What with it not being a very long escort quest and all. We're close now. I can see the camp. Oh, you needed an escort all right over here, huh? I'm getting my getting a sense sense about this escort. I'll be right back with your reward. Yeah. Uh, yes, sure enough, it's an ambush. All right, kill Telrath. Here's my new quest. Fine. I'm okay with that quest. I'm gonna get a little bit back from the killing zone here. See if I can lose them and then uh, go back for them. Part horsey. Yeah, horsey, you stay here. Comes. Here they all come. All right. Well, ah, oh, there goes the horse. There goes the horse. Fine. He's not a very big bandit. Apparently, I shot the horse. Fortunately, your own horse doesn't aggro on you. Hell, Rav. Well, that's not a very he, on the other hand, has a lot of hit points. And where did Horsey go? Where'd he go? Uh, is that Horsey? That's a tree. That's not Horsey, it's tree. All right, well, who's this? You also don't take the... Ah, oh, good. Horsey decided... <laughs> well, if there's combat going on, I'll get involved. All right, well gonna kill those guys we're gonna have to get into either get help or cover um, here we have a windmill symbol and a nice little farm let's see if we can find any friends to help oh Serethi farm that's the like nern root growing place now horsey will you please stay apparently horsey will not please stay Bar. I don't see any friendly help except for this uh, <laughs> except for this sheep. <laughs> we got we got a sheep tanking for us. It's not working out very well. Apparently she wants to fight horsey. What's going on? Oh wait, wait, is that a a friendly person coming to our aid. There's a non-friendly person shooting at us. us. Whoa! And that was quite an arrow in the knee we just took. That makes me think twice about this this plan. I'm kind of running out of health potions here. Let's go back up here. Oh, yeah, look, there's a perfectly good guard here, and he's, I guess he's shooting. <laughs> For all I know, he's the one that accidentally shot us. We were in the way, but I think that was a bandit that shot us. Alright, I think we can have him fighting the guard. Yeah, get your two-handed weapon out. That's what we want. That feels a little more... Feels a little more my kind of bandit fighting. See, why isn't the guard, not the guard in his, with his two-handed weapon, and not the horse, gradually getting chipped away at, not making enough progress on him to call it a, a 
quit forcing. Oh, the, the sheep's here, though. <laughs> the sheep. Tanking by sheep. Is there any other guards or friends? I'm just trying to be, you know, if there, if there was a place I could stick the damn horse where he wouldn't come right the way. That got the guard involved properly. Did you to ambush me? This is sort of a pathetic fight. <laughs> In the sense that the, <laughs> the horse is so. And everything. Oh, wearing it down, wearing him down. I thought there was another bandit somewhere. But... Damn you. See a see a red dot off oh, the other way. Die already so I can take your stuff. Here's some woman calling for help, but not actually helping. All right, <laughs> now now you're trapped in the mill, and the horsey can't get to you. That's more fun. And we're using Elven arrows. There we go. Goodbye, Telrav. Apparently got your neck broken by the, by the guard's two-handed weapon. And we'll pick stuff up. And there's just one more bandit left out there. And then we can go see what Telrav had in the camp. Oh, and here's the nice lady. Nothing but the same thing every day. She won't fully talk to me until... Until the combat is over. Here's the her she, she's the like she's the one that can specially grow nern root. No one else has figured it out. But she knows how to cultivate nern root. So what we're gonna do is get the nern root. I, wish I, I think I would in theory be able to okay, yeah, she's just not talking. I'd be able to sell her stuff. Not that I necessarily want to sell her nern root. Got to get rid. Oh, there's two red dots. So there's more bandits. They're out there, but combat is somehow continuing. If I can get back into hidden, we can get ambushes going. If I go in the house, and locked. Or what if I bring the bandits over here to the nice guard? Doing. Now they're going back to hidden, finally. And there he is. Standing there. Didn't get a surprise attack on him, though. Well, maybe now he's following me. And somehow the horse is coming from behind. That's what she said. Oh, here's an extra bandit. Horse is away. guys chasing me. Alright, I got a new plan. <laughs> you guys, you guys, oh, we're gonna finish that guard off soon. You guys fight that guard, that's fine. And I'm gonna go take your stuff from your camp, since that's the only way I can uh, get the horse far enough away. Back to the camp. That guy. Let's just go all the way up here. Oh, I'm discovered. All right, what do you guys have? Now we're in hidden. Ironically, in their camp. I wonder how long it takes them to 
squat back here. Slaughterfish scales, a chest with some gold in it. Not really very much. Alright, let's see if we can. Using. <laughs> Still got bandits on the radar. Using their camp as a base of operations. Check them out. I think I want to go in Nilheim. Do I? It's Nilheim. Tower. Alright, well. Oh, detected. Red dot. There's somebody in the tower. There's somebody in the tower. Another time, we got enough problems without extra guys. That might be one of the bandits. Let's see what we can arrange. The interesting thing about these sort of when you're in a sort of outdoor sunlight situation, it can actually be pretty hard to stay hidden. But... but those were weird bandits, because they were not going back to hidden, and they, of course they, they just said bandit, but they seem to have a million hit points. Let's see if see if all's clear at the farm here. We can talk to the lady. Whoops, no, no, not so clear at the farm. I see dots. I see running around, advancing behavior. Uh, oh, they're, they're bothering her. Don't necessarily want her to kill her, but I can't necessarily just save her if she's not going to fight back. Thinking about what to do here. Okay, she went inside, and that's good. They're after me. Maybe I need to lead them off. Lead them off from the lady. Let's find some kind of. Let's find something for them to fight. How about that? Here's uh, an innocent looking camp. Anybody home? Anybody want to fight a. Oh, look, little hunter fisherman down here doing their little hunter fisherman thing, I think. Let's see if we can arrange, arrange for some help. There's those guys. I'll show you a real fight. There we go. And those guys are not aggroing on us, I think. Or are they also aggroing on us? I want those guys to fight each other. Work as well as I hoped it would. Okay, so we are... Wow! Look at that. We have looped almost all the way around in a stupid circle. Alright. Um, well, we're on our way to Riften. Here's some random guy fighting a spider. I left the other guys in the dust, so let's see. How about we help this guy with a spider? Riften or side quest. <laughs> or walk in a circle all the way around Iverstead. Alright. Who are you? You I'm are just a farmer. Okay. Friendly at least. He thinks we should join the Imperial Legion. We will consider that in the future. All right, rift it this way. I think we're finally free of Iverstead after a fairly colossal navigational error by yours truly. Uh, there's the castle I probably thought we were <laughs> going past earlier. Going past the wrong castle. 
dot. Ooh, troll. Troll. Troll, regenerate. Just make tracks down this way. I feel like I got several different combat musics playing all at once. Like something is wrong in combat music land, but... But we've got a bunch of different groups of things aggroed behind us, so... I guess that's how it is. Alright, signs to consult. There's a castle. Is that the castle where the Detect Life spell is? No, I'm not going going in that castle right now. I'm going to try to get to Riften. I think, uh, I think I'm ready to get to Riften. Because uh, we have got many, many, many packs of animals here. And we just need to get to civilization and get de-aggroed. We're going to get de-aggroed. Alright, that guy's saying fuck off. Redwater Den does not appear to be eager to receive us. Dragon landing pads for the future. One good thing about, about our current situation of having not progressed the main quest really at all, haven't fought that first dragon at the tower means that we are not getting ambushed by dragons every five feet. We have a fairly giant looking Spriggan, so we're just going to keep right on moving. No Spriggan weird bug spells for me. Oh, and we're actually getting there. We are getting to Riften. Alright, let's talk about our plan. My plan in Riften is they have a light armor trainer and kitty can become considerably less fragile if i can spend some time with the light armor trainer we're also near to fort dawn guard where we can get a crossbow and you can see how a crossbow might fit into kitty's general plans uh, so here we have a sign of civilization like a mini town though. Shores Stone. Alright, so we went the wrong way up this road, but soon, soon, very soon, we will be in Riften. Back this way. Alright, so here is Fort Somethingy Plop, Fort Wolf Chase. And I think this is actually filled with bandits. Fort Greenwall. So we are just going to say, here, bandits, I brought you some wolves to fight, and we're going to go right out the other door. Thinking about big towns like Riften, I don't want every town to have, you know, I don't want to have whole episodes be completely about town. So I'm going to do a fair amount of acceleration when we're in Riften. I will try to briefly narrate what the big quests and things are and what are at stake. But, you know, I think the episodes are much more interested when we're interleaved with some combat and doing some interesting things. So I'm going to try to try to keep my town time terse keep my town time terse but here we come at long last to the rift and stables and we are here and ready to rift and eyes we are gonna leave horsey outside and we will go into the town of rift and after we apparently pay a visitor's tax uh, except they're apparently going to go run off and fight something and not let me pay the visitor's tax. And I don't actually want to find out what would happen if I... Man, that's a lot of guys in a spider. Ooh, Imperial soldiers. Oh, Stormcloak soldiers. Oh, okay. So they've just got a whole giant. And apparently our town guards are currently on the side of the Stormcloaks. And I guess that makes sense, being dressed in kind of... So apparently our job in this is to loot Imperial soldiers. We don't want to actually tick anybody off. 
So that's a thing. Yields. All right. Where is Mr. Guard? Cannot get in properly until we have a guard with us. Hello. Hold there. I'll Before hold right here. I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitors tax. Or pay the persuasion. The privilege of entering the persuasion. Right. Down. You want everyone to Always hear you? best to do the persuasion, because then you also get get speech credit. And in we go. All right. Let us talk through some of the people here in Mighty Rift. And so here's on the right is Mjol. I don't know. She might be our friend later. Yeah. Well, and here's Maul. The he the is mostly your little intro. So what do you want to know? Your intro to Riften and thieves guilds and dark brotherhoods and so forth. I'm really getting tired of your excuses. Here's Sapphire doing a shakedown on Shotter. All right, and the first thing I want to do is go to the inn. So, Mule the Lioness, let's meet you. So, she's not from Riften. I think she's one of the potential companions, but she does have a quest that we can eventually get from her to get her sword back. Here's Mara Mal, and he is about the Temple of Mara. And Mara, Temple of Mara brings up the idea that Kitty could marry somebody. And, and I do have some together. ideas about One who Kitty might want to marry, and we'll, we'll discuss that later. I, I'm well, definitely girl, thinking of thinking about who Kitty I should marry. You too could be thinking about who Kitty should marry, and uh, tell me in comments. So Talon J there, he's one of the, one of the owners of the inn. And here is Louis Latrush. He wants us to he wants to talk to Sibby Blackbriar because the Blackbriars are one of the main main families. They own the brewery, but there's Frost, the special purebred horsey McHorse face that he wants us to steal for him. So we'll at least talk to Sibby Blackbriar, and then see there's these two Argonians, one we met, and here's Kirava, but the other guy, Talon J or whatever, wants us to get him some gems so he can make the special ceremonial wedding headdress or whatever it is, so that, you know, for his wife. It's, he wants it for his wife, which is fantastic, so we'll, we'll try to do that. Meanwhile, if you got the gold, we got a bed. We are going upstairs to the bed. 17 long hours of rest later, Kitty emerges, eats some food, and we're back to do some more Riften. So here's the Riften Town Square. Riften has various people. So here's Shotter that uh, we saw getting uh, raked over the coals by Sapphire. He owes Sapphire money. So we'll say, yeah, sure, we'll uh, pay off your debt, or rather talk Sapphire out of collecting it. And since we have to talk somebody into doing something, we go find the local beggar, give him a gold piece, and that gives us the gift of charity, which, of course, makes our speech skills briefly stronger for some period of time. Certainly long enough to go over here and talk to Sapphire and say, hey, I want to talk about his debt. And no, I don't want to pay it. I just want to get my speech increased by talking you out of it. And so that is the story of Sapphire and Shotter. Now, he has disappeared and apparently gone back to the stables. Uh, but in the stables is only the other guy. So we'll find him. We'll catch back up to Shotter later. Meanwhile, down here in the lower level is Elgrim's Elixirs. And you know what happens when we come to a thing. Well, usually it's this interminable thing where we buy every single whatever, and then we sit there and do it. But I have a special surprise today. We are going to accept her quest to go to Shore Stone, and we are going to buy every single viable thing that uh, Elgrim has for sale here. But then I've decided for the first time that you just don't really probably want to watch 
an unending amount of of alchemy. Oh, or even over encumbered. Oh, and here's Ingen, and she's the one that's going to give us the quest to go find a bunch of ingredients, which I think are fun and good quests. We'll collect the Nern root, the nightshade, and the death bell. It'll be a while before she gets her death bell, because I got other uses for death bell to like make weakness of whatever potion. So we walk encumbered over to the alchemy lab, and. Yeah, so I'm doing all my alchemy here, but look, we're going to have a little zoom through this time, and we're not going to sit and watch two minutes of alchemy. We're going to watch, like, about 30 seconds of alchemy. So, yeah, I'm just making my things, doing my stuff. You know, I try to keep myself up on healing potions, on money potions, which is to say damage, damage magicka regen. And if you have any comment on that, you know, if you think I shouldn't do that, or if you want to know any of my alchemy secrets such that they are then then let me know in comments but meanwhile 17 more hours of sleep later we are ready to do the most important thing we came to rift and to do which is to talk to grelka grelka is the light armor trainer now she has a quest for us to go do some stuff to winhelm whatever eventually we'll go to winhelm don't just ask too many questions. Just take it to come Windhelm on, or get it from Windhelm. I'll teach you how to use it effectively. And, and so here we are. And look, we have saved our gold against this day. Look at that. We have just taken five trainings. And oh, look, we even leveled up. So we'll be able to go level up and do it again. Meanwhile, what I want to do is I'm going to definitely take a fortified barter potion here. Because... Grelka is also a general arms merchant, or general everything merchant. And look, she's now got 2,000 gold that I just paid her. And we are going to fair and square trade her back. Look, damage, magicka, regen. Those things sell for hundreds of gold each. Come back when you're ready so to we basically just got all our gold back from her. And now we can go to the Bee and Barb up to our bedroom and discover that we have to go pay for the rent and we can level up to level 27 we'll take a stamina i'm actually not going to take a perk yet because we'll probably want to take some of these light armor perks once, as, once we get light armor up so now we are going to as they say lather rinse and repeat build her up so now we're at level 39 it's too bad we're not at 40 because i think there's probably something good we can get at 40 on the perk chart, but another another uh, barter potion done. is being quaffed as we speak, and yet more expensive potions are being expended everywhere. Alright, really so while the po barter potion is done, Brand Shea here will actually buy just about anything from me, but it turns out I don't have much left to sell. But so you Seem can end up talking to these three guys on the strength of one barter potion. I do. Only so trouble. he has a quest. He makes his own jewelry, Thank and he wants us I'm to get him some list of flawless whatevers. Oh, and a mammoth tusk and a gold ore. So sapphires. we but will plan to gradually do that. You wish to... uh, I guess we might as well pick up Brand Shea's quest. He wants to go find some clues about his path because he's an Argonian. Thank you. And somehow he got adopted, and he's here. Would be of great help. Good luck. Maurice, I picked up. Her food is amazingly fresh. How does she do it? She does it with frost salt. She does it with magic. So she wants some more frost salts. And speaking of frost salts, here's Balaman, and he wants fire salt. So Riften is full of all these go collect the crud quests, which I'm perfectly happy to do because I'm going to be collecting a lot of crud. Pretty much and anything is we will things. look. I'm also going to start collecting iron ore yeah, because I do think that in the future I'm going to want to, near medium future, I'm going to want to start smithing so that I can improve my armor. Here's Bursi Honeyhand at the Pond Prawn, or the Pwn Prawn, as I would call it. And he's another general good store. We're just seeing what he's got. We don't have anything left to sell. So, when you don't have anything left to sell, that means you need to get stuff to sell. So, here's some dragon's tongue. That's it. It wasn't dragon's ears or <laughs> dragon's noses. It was dragon's tongue. 
So we'll collect some of the yellow flowers. Here is Helga's bunkhouse, and apparently Helga is a bit of a mean boss, because here's her little Svana far shield, who hates Helga so much, and she wants to apparently expose Helga's love life for all to see. And for us to help her, we need to go get the marks of Debella. And I'm not actually sure whether it's, you know virtuous to do this quest or not. I, I can't really figure uh, out which one of them is actually the good guy. Is Svana just a whiner? Uh, but at any rate, Indoran is one of the guys, and, and look, we can persuade him, and if persuading doesn't work, we can intimidate him. Which, you know, I'm pretty much in favor of getting my, you know, getting the speech advancement there, so I'm happy to do that here at the Blackbriar Meadery. I'll be back there in the morning. All right, so Bali is the next Visitors one. Like oh, now here's Mjol. Now I can ask her. Like, I, you have to have a first conversation and then leave her for a while, and then you can come back and ask her about Grimseaver in Mzinchleft, which will be another relaxed. fun dwarven ruin that we go into someday. Meanwhile, Bali is good with the second Mark of Debella. I think he works at the fishery, which is out here. Here's this little side part of Rift, and, and there is another useful and important thing we can do in Rift and Fisher. Let's first, let's see if we see Bali. Don't see him, but we do see our little friend Wujita. Now, Wujita really wants a healing potion so she won't lose her job. Take this. And the thing it's is, offer you for what you see how it says me. steal salmon as we went past? And then it, she gives us the reward, and now I can just freely take everything from this fish barrel. And fish barrels have both salt and interesting reagent fish. And see, now I can actually Your take kindness. the no, fish. I don't think so that happened say. because I made friends with her. Like okay. now this, you know, her disposition Hello. is friendly. And now I can take anything that's worth, like, I don't know, less than 50 or less than 25 or whatever it is. But see, all this food, and remember how I said that Kitty really feels like Kitty ought to mostly eat fish. That's just, you know, it's just going to be one of my little things. And this is a fantastic place to get fish. And we are just, you can harvest these little fish. There's ones hanging that hang from the lower rails. They hang from the upper rails. There are just fish. There are fish in the water. In the this is like their little cage of fish. And some of the fish are not just the salmon to eat, but they're the little you know Abyssinian whatevers and cyrodelic other things and river beddies and all those weird fish. So you can get those. And then you think, wow, I just got me a heck of a lot of fish by coming in here. And then you come out on the dock, and there's a whole bunch of bags of everything. And see, these you couldn't normally pick up, because normally it would say steal from, and I'm a, I'm a good kitty. But Wujita is so grateful to me for the healing potion, you see, that she's given me literally about 150 salmon, like, and salt to boot. Um, and this dock, and all these food in this bag. You, and you must take the lexicon. Oh. I must take the lexicon. That's a surprise. You must take the lexicon. You must take the lexicon now. Okay, apparently I took the lexicon. I'm sure nothing will go wrong because I took the lexicon, right? That I mean, you know, you you would take the lexicon, right? Uh, so I took the lexicon. Now I got the lexicon. All right. But meanwhile, I have got uh, you know a year supply a a. Uh, a uh, Jesus Christ Church of Latter-day Saints level supply of uh, fish laid by. And, oh, here's it. Here's Bali now. So, yeah, he was apparently wandering around the market and not running his fishery. That's fine. So we've got his market to Bella, and we have one more to get, and the guy that provides that one is out here in the stables. It's that old guy that was in the building. So we will go say hi to Hofgreer Horse Crusher. You would certainly expect that a guy who tended stables would not be called Horse Crusher, but I could ask him about how he came to be Horse Crusher, but I think that might lead to a brawl. Do I want to brawl him? Um, I'm going to come back to him later. I don't want to brawl him in this little confined, tiny little room. But I do like to win brawls just you know you don't get much for it but it's it's just kind of fun so back to helga's bunkhouse we have all the 
If All the little lo you're looking for the proof. I believe these are yours, your little sexual favors. Uh, she says, don't mention it to Savannah, who's standing right over here. And so I'll go over here and mention it to Savannah. I think this, this, the layout of this quest is a little bit, you know, funny to me. But we did the quest. We did the quest. And so now it is time to go to the palace to Mistvale Keep. And we will go meet the Jarl, but first we'll meet the Jarl's son, who's out practicing with only a dagger instead of a sword. So, could we kindly go fetch his blade from Balaman? And we'll get all these little butterflies and dragon's tongues, and we will go see Balaman, who is inside his house. And we are here to pick up the lazy good-for-nothing sword. Stop slaying walls and perhaps Nonetheless, get the get the reward soon. So back to the palace, back to the thing. And we did it pretty quick, but it says, he says we took our own sweet time doing it. And he gives us a flawless amethyst. So he pays us in gem, you know, some, some pocket change. Some flawless gems from his pocket because he's the Jarl's son. And here's the Jarl's other son. And then, yeah, I guess they're all discussing whether they should be... Empire Stormcloak, Empire Stormcloak. Well, Kitty will try to bring herself to care about that someday. But meanwhile, here's Wallendria, and she is the court mage here. And she's a little bit um, baddie in the head, but we can blunder our way through this conversation and say, yeah, I would use the blue thing. And she says, oh my gosh, that's amazing. And how about using calipers? Well... In the last Elder Scrolls, every house had calipers. And we should swallow a soul gem, and we can offer her help getting organized, and we need to go around the world and find a bunch of crud for her. That is the theme of Ripton Quest, is go find me the crud. So there's that, and this guy doesn't have much, but here's the Jarl, Jarl Layla. And we can However, tell her that we have discovered a skooma de dealer, and she says, could you please go quietly eliminate the skooma dealer? And so I am happy to do that. So you can have a little bit of combat action in a, in a, in a city. Here, Let's see if I need to disenchant any disenchantables. No, I think those are all still, I'd rather sell that dwarven armor than and disenchant it because I don't need the, the, the sure grip thing. More butterflies. And let us go to the warehouse. So there's Maul who stands guard for some reason, but he doesn't care. We are going to go sneak in this warehouse where the skooma dealer Sarthus Idrin is lurking. But the Jarl gave us the key, so it must be okay. Alright, so there's his little buddy. And then Sarthus is there. Alright, so yeah, sometimes he's in there and sometimes he's downstairs. And you have to kind of suss it out. That means that downstairs ought to be free. I just want to have a... just want to make sure I get a clear line of retreat once I start a little bit of action. Alright, so we can probably... My stealth is so high right now compared to these guys that there? it's relatively simple to take care of him. Elven Arrow did pretty well for for a redraw. By the way, right at the when I was there at the disenchantment Hello? table, Who's I did there? actually I kind of sped it up, but I used soul I gems to charge my bow back up so that it you know it does its does its extra magical damage again, which might have helped a little. All right, we killed him so bad he didn't even alert his alert his buddy. It's a good stealth kill, like stealth kills. So this guy, we gotta either make a noise and lure him out here, or just see if he's oh yeah, he's, he's in the chair. So he, it takes he's gonna have to run to get out of a chair animation during which we can tumble away. Looks like we did a fairly good chunk of damage to him, so I'm not too afraid. Oh yeah, he's he's gonna go down. All right, so he has been eliminated to death, and now I'm supposed to recover Skuma Source information, and now I have his key with which to do so. And I think this is one where you actually have to 
pick up the key. It's one of those requires key. Yes, requires key locks. And in here, for some reason the note is in this steal from satchel. I make you quote steal and quote the note. But hey, you know, the Jarl told me to do it, so, so it must be okay. All right, and so they're awaiting shipment in Crags Lane Cavern, which I imagine is where the Jarl is going to want to send me next. But we need to go tell, tell the Jarl. Go to the Jarl. Whee! And so we will go back to Jarl Layla and say, Jarl Layla, I have some information from you for you. Oh, she's sitting in her big Jarl chair. Jarl throne. What can I do for you? Throning it up. It's nice to receive good news. Then there's no Source the skooma, no time to lose, go to the cave. Oh, and you can get a title. So she'll eventually make me a thane. And I, I do really want to be a... I want to see how many holds Kitty can be a thane in. That's going to be that's going to be one of the things. I should go through that at one point. Like, what, what are my little list of, of personally given side quests? <laughs> Who to marry... What all, all the Thane places to be. So what now we're going to go again in prepping. We're going to oh, talk our way. No, no, it's okay. I'm allowed to be in here. You can go unlock on it. It's Come on, unlock it. This script's a little slow. Uh, we're going to go talk to Sibby Blackbriar for Louis Latrush. And... Have you come to Gok? Ah. And he, so Sibby says, actually, I don't own the horse I was supposed to sell him. I was going to kind of steal it. So could you go steal his lineage paper from my mother's manor, which I'm sure is totally not dangerous, unless we now go bust him out to his mother, Maven Blackbriar, who is standing here. We'll just interrupt her conference with the Jarl to bring her this message. Tell you what. And she says, go hey, along. why don't you just go along? Go ahead. Go ahead. Steal my horse. Steal my horse. And I'll deal with these scoundrels later after you grab butterflies. All right. So I'm going to sell off these weird little extra items that I have picked up um, because I'm getting ready to do some quests. I, I want to go down, down underneath. Down underneath of Riften is the the Ratway, and I want to go do that, um, just to explore the Ratway, but there is a quest I want to go pick up before we do that, and then we'll probably do the Frost Horse Stealing quest and stuff. So we're going to go pick that stuff up, going to pick the quest up, then we're going to go, going to go into the Ratway, go into the sewers and the Ratway, because nothing could go wrong there, and I think think that this is let's see yeah this is a good place to stop we're at level 27 still got six lives remaining and have only been killed three times ever 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 and we're gonna go pick up a quest at a nearby farm and we'll be back to do the rat way steal a horse and do many other awesome things next time when the cat has nine lives